From Sugar House in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, this is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm your host, Chris Hansen. As we close in on the final hours of a madcap cash game, our players start to do the math. How much you got there? And realize 500. that their chances of winning another big pot are slipping by with every hand. There it is. Hot one of the rush. Now, predictably, I had the nuts their play gets a lot more aggressive as the time winds down. And whether they scoop the pot or not, it is we, the viewers, that will always win with that kind of action. So let's return one final time to our table of intrepid players here at Sugar House in Philadelphia and see who comes out with sugar on top. Just so you don't think I hit and ran, they making me leave. Day three continues yeah. and the good news is for the players at the table, Dan Shack has walked away. He had a $21,000 profit and I guess that was good enough for him. But three new players now joining us at our table here at Sugar House. Blinds are 25 and 50. And there's a optional $100 straddle if you're under the gun. King Jack for Esther Taylor Brady. Alec Trelli is on the button and he calls with kings. And Kyle Bowker will call with his sixes from the straddle. And a great call it was. Set of sixes for Bowker. Taylor Brady with your standard continuation bet. 550 is the amount. It's a raise from Torelli to 1800. Bowker calls. Taylor Brady gets out of the way. Bowker is first to act. What are you doing? He bets 2,200. Gambling. Why are your chips in a rack? I'm taking them out. Don't worry, I'm not leaving, Phil. Relax. <laughs> I know you get a little bit scared. <laughs> no, I just, I just color, think it's fair. It's just fair. I just, I just want like a set of sixes when you have pocket queens, and I'll really fire big. You'll get it all. I hope we do play a big pot, Phil. I hope we do. Me too, under my, my conditions this time. My terms. Torelli calls as our first pot of the night is climbing up towards $10,000. $6,000 the bet. Over to Torelli. Call and a big win for Kyle Bowker on his first hand on Poker Night in America. Welcome to the table. Turns a $100 straddle into that massive pot. Not bad. Wow. That seat's been so hot. Did Dan Shack lose a pot in two days in that seat? <laughs> when he threw the 6,000, I was really opening his bluff. Sean, how dumb do you think I am to sit down and bluff it all off? You, bluffed right. half it. you could have bluffed half it off. No bank of deep is always open. Taylor Brady brings it up to 350. And now back to Farah. He will call. Fair hits his ace. Taylor Brady with just the gut shot straight draw. A bet and a call as we head to the turn.
We get one check. And a check behind from Taylor Brady. Here comes the river. Whereas Ace King is ahead, he's been playing this hand very cautiously. And a raise from Taylor Brady to just over 2,000. Yeah, I know it's top pair, top kicker, but against a great player, you have to lay it down. And wow, what a play from Esther Taylor Brady. Coming up, more of our invite only from Sugar House on Poker Night in America. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. Let's get back to Sugar House for more poker action. If I just fire out on the turn, Rass is good enough where he could get away, but he might not get away. Yeah, because he might be bluffing. You know? Yeah, it's always easy to look back at what could have happened, but a lot of things got you there that you didn't look back on, you know? So I know it's not a lot of consolation, but. I was doing a lot of drinking that night. Yeah, I don't blame you. That's a rough one to get second in, that's for sure. I think it's like it's one of the better ones to get second. I know for him, he sold a million a second. Oh, for him, yeah. in like the mixed game. To win that one, that is, one that and they title. could never say anything about my, me again, ever, I felt like. Yeah, that's a cool one to win, you know, as a mixed, as an all-around poker player, that's like a yeah. meaningful one. Seven. Helmuth bets 700. Fair calls the 700. Comes the turn to nine. How much have left? Like four? Right around there. After asking how much fare I had in front of him, Helmuth bet 1,600. All in. And this is gonna be music to fill Helmuth's ears. He can't get the money in fast enough. I was gonna have a set or something. Fair gets his jacks in bad, and he will not survive on the river. That was fast. <laughs> Bill Helmuth will absorb the chip stack, and it looks like Mo Farah. How did I have the fourth best hand free flop? He's walking away, so we're going to have a seat open. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raise call, call, call. Pop it in there, Raise but call, just... call, call. Yeah, it's brutal. <laughs> fourth place. Yeah, I'm not, I just have no equity. It's ace, king, queens, and jack. No. One of my favorite Phil moments, Phil, I don't you know, obviously remember this, when you won the uh, World Series of Poker Europe. You had the party afterwards, and it finished like at three in the morning. So it was a bunch of people over at the club, and then. Uh, By the way, that party finished five forty-five in the morning. <laughs> and and uh, at some point there, around four in the morning, I remember everyone was having fun in the booth, and then all of a sudden, the uh, Germans and I think the Russians got in a big fist fight brawl. And we all bailed out of the booth while security rushed in. I don't know what it was about, but it was uh, it was pretty brutal. Yeah, there was a big brawl. Somebody yeah. got hurt. Yeah. There's some guy who got, I was sitting there, he got punched straight in the face, just like in a movie, went straight back, arms sprawled out, landed on the table, and then the glasses just broke. Wow. Glasses shot everywhere. Yeah. And all we did, I remember you guys all ran out of the way, and I was feeling maybe bulletproof, so I just calmly <laughs> put my legs over the rail. I hate to say it, but it's true. He did. That is exactly they what he did. They all scattered, and I just calmly, just real slowly. <laughs> just, I'm walking away. I'm <laughs> OK. No, I didn't even walk away. I'm I just, like I just, in the club. There's a rail here. I just went like this, yeah. stood up, and just watched whatever ensued. Watched the security yeah. cam in. Yeah. 
Hell, I just won a. I just won the main event. Yeah, you're like whatever. Just whatever. another fight. I'm about yeah. to. You, you, you didn't tell the whole story. Then I told everybody who was with me at five in the morning I was going to buy them all multiple pair of shoes. It's true because I remember when I was leaving the hotel <laughs> three in the morning. Three or four people. It's three a funny or four thing people came. Yeah. And I bought everybody in, who was with me multiple pairs of shoes. That's awesome. Because I was thing. leaving What's the hotel in the morning. morning. Well, we did, literally, the party didn't finish until 5.45. I didn't win it until 4 in the morning. Oh, OK. It took us a long time to get paid. I got over there at 4.30. We, yeah. we left at 6.30. There was a shoe store open at 6.45. I, I wish I would have known. I would have got a new pair of kicks. Yeah. It's a cool thing to, you know, you're always going to remember that. Like, I would get some crazy pair, you know? It's like, you could have. I was happy to buy everybody. I just I don't mean expensive. I just mean, like, bright or, like, right. something that's like, hey, where'd you get those? Like, oh, I actually. just won a million euros. Yeah, so I was wonderful. like, whatever you guys want, you know? He's still yeah, holding the, the shoe fairy. Sean Deeb has turned seven deuce into and then I went trip no deuces. The and he's got Tom work. Schneider on the I played, hook. I played six days to win that. No sleep. And I went to the airport, and I went right to Eva Longoria's tournament to MC in San Antonio. Was there one night, and then I went to, right to MC President You always had Clinton's the best hand, Sean. So I went from Eva's seven. event to Clinton's event, and then about midweek, I was in Chicago. So I went from city to city to city, and I almost collapsed. I, I, I almost had a nervous breakdown. Is that weird to say? <laughs> I'm in Monte Carlo. I don't sleep. I'm in Monte Carlo. I go to MC Eva's event. That means I have the mic all night. All right, I call. You got it. And a call from Schneider. And oh, yeah, here it comes. Here it comes. It's the deep slow roll. It was. And on the floor, I There it is. And I knew what it was. It was a registration slip. And I picked it up to see what it was. And it was yours. And so I'm like, oh, this is And I don't think Tom Schneider is liking the Sean Deeb slow roll as much as I am right now. It's not as much fun to slow roll if you don't get the reaction out of the person. And Tom Schneider is just not going to give him the satisfaction. Helmuth raises to 350. He gets a call from Tom Schneider, and that will be it. I may have to continue check raising on the flop. I think you probably should. All right, I'll check. Check. Helmuth checks blind and hits a set of 10. Schneider also hit the 10. 500. Schneider bets 500. Seems easy enough to raise. Raise. Hamith <laughs> <laughs> raises to a thousand. Schneider calls. That one scared me. Another check from Phil. Safe to say it's not been the best last three and a half minutes for Tom Schneider, but he seems undeterred as he bets fifteen hundred. Oh, there's so many hands you could have here. Got a call. There is a three of spades. Top set. Check, check. And the money's going to Phil Helmuth. God, I thought that might be the one. I got the min raise in just like last hand. I had it just like last hand. Closed captioning is brought to you as a public service by Poker Night in America. Hey, buddy. How are you? like a reunion over here. New player coming in in seat the eight, Aaron Rumelstein sat down with 10,000, already $2,500 down as we get back to the action at Sugar House. Mike, uh, Mike Phelps just asked what my odds were. That's a bad sign. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> he said, what odds are you getting? Are you getting, that's what he asked? Oh man. 300. Hey, I have, I have 2,500. <laughs> You're like, I want to get name dropped too. No, I don't want to bet against the legend. Yeah, now I gotta watch. I probably shouldn't have done that because now I gotta watch the damn. Wow, this is annoying. Trust me, Phil will be. If I would have known this was, I would have just limped in. <laughs> Didn't you have a feeling when Tom called that it was gonna get, <laughs> get kind of like this? It seems Phil Helmuth is annoyed at the amount of callers. He gets one more in Alec Torelli. Just a call. <laughs> this wanna, this bet, hold on, Eli, I just want to say man. this. This bet was designed for him. I bet 300. He's the only one who's going to call me. Everybody else is going to fold. 
That's what I was thinking. The fact that you ever thought that that Designed. was going to be the scenario. Designed. Six X rays it's under impossible. the gun. Yeah. Yeah. It's literally impossible. I want a piece of somebody's It's hand. also impossible that there's six people put in 300 and one of them's not Sean. <laughs> Just never have well, after all that, Helmuth and his tens are ahead right now. I'm going like, to bet out 900. It's not what you promised me. I'm worried about you having a nine, Alec. Everybody else I can handle. And one by one, the players are folding, and all that's left is Alec Torelli. Please fold, Alec. Please fold. And the only reason Alec Torelli might call is because he's going to set up some sort of play against Phil. Gosh, darn it all. 900, 900. Worried about the right guy. It was 900. It was right. It was right. Go ahead. Yeah. Was I right? Yeah, you were right. Yes, you were right. it was right. Four black chips. Check. Let's go. They both check. Here's the river. Check. Trelli's first, and he gives up. Such a sick card. Or does he? 1,500, the bet from Phil. So tilted. <laughs> nice day. You made sevens and just folded? Don't do that. Give it to Sean so he can call. <laughs> you look like such an idiot. I know. I was thinking you. <laughs> seven, oh eight, two. No. <laughs> Nines for Sean Deeb. Oddly enough, that is not Tom Schneider's lucky jacket. You would think it would be, but it's not. Well, that's a serious raise. It's 1,100 from Bowker back to Deeb. Deeb will ship it in. He will right now. But Sean will just call, and here comes Tom Schneider. He's going to get involved. So we had almost 3,500 in the middle going to the flop. Schneider hit his jack. Bowker's open-ended. Schneider bets 1,500. Raised to 3,500. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like yesterday. Deeb folds, so now we're back to Schneider. Did he tell you what he thought true odds were? Yes. Uh, no, he's you been... should ask him. It's so interesting when it comes from... I said, told him they could lose soon. He said, ha ha. He said they, they could fights. lose soon? Yeah, no, I no, believe I it. I yeah. said that. Oh, OK. He just said, ha ha. Yeah. I'm nervous if it's coming from him. He says, they could lose soon. It's like, uh oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, it's like he's at top four. Of like, yeah, he's like, I, I feel oh like my he's God, like gonna train drawing... to peak himself for the Olympics. Like he's not. I don't think he's good. I think he's yeah. less likely. Why to is have he gonna one try and break like, a world record now? And possibly, like, like, right? Isn't there something to be said about your body like needing yeah, to peak at a certain athletic, time? You can't though, peak at multiple times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like four months day. before, you're safe. Just, you know, you're safe until the Olympics, right? That's the sick thing. It's gonna be like breaking down muscle to get. Schneids is all in. What if he breaks a world record tomorrow and I don't get credit? That aces are changed or something like that. Well, no. Tomorrow you win. Want to turn him up? Every time and off. Even, yeah. even, even if he just we take his word? Yeah. Ah. Good. Oh, well, if it's any time after today. So we're playing for a $14,000 pot. That's Tom Schneider. Brick, brick for Bowker and Tom Schneider. No one ever sucks out on him. We'll win a massive pot. But I don't like it. Even Two. How'd you get it? Kyle, do you have any... Uh, it's probably right. Change or something? Change? Ask you shall receive. One second. Call the Queen Jack. <laughs> <laughs> but then the nine came and I was like, oh god, I can't bluff. Yeah, I knew he was talking into bluffing. I was like, this is gonna work out really bad for you. I'll take care of you, Baron. I got it. I might have lost I did double you up. This is a like not a yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> you can tell we're getting to the end of the night because of the starting hands of some of the players. Yeah. Well, looking at their maybe last opportunity to uh, scoop a pot before the end of the night. I always give people a chance to What happened here? Everybody just call Phil raised? I raised. I really kind of wanted you again, but of course you I did. got I everybody in there. You know, I don't blame you. It's a love affair. We could write a book. It's a love affair. Yeah. I thought about that. Like Chad it. scares me with the glasses. 600? How many bets 600 gets a call from Schneider? Here we go. Good luck yeah. to all. Great today, Sean. Good luck to all the players. What'd you have on the 10 high board? Check race Tom, man. 
We got one I check from Phil nine. and another one from nine, Schneider. Seven, 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 ten, nine, six, oh, ten, nine, six, River is a king. You had aces? What? Jacks. The same thing as aces. You can check race. And Phil will bet 300. Very yeah. good. Yeah, it would be surprised if you flatted my under the gun open with aces, but. I would have. I flatted one of them with ace king. I called you with two kings and lost a lot of money. Schneider raises what? to 800. No, I said I, I flatted you with a big hand once, lost a lot of money. And a call. And once again, Tom Schneider okay. feels more chips yeah. slipping to the way of Phil Helmuth. Four hearts on board. What are we doing? He's betting betting and raising. Betting and raising. Man, it has been Phil Helmuth dominating the last part of the night. Coming up after the break, we'll survey the damage. Now that's, Sean, Sean, that's poker right there, okay? Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. Thanks for coming back to Poker Night in America. Here's our updated chip counts. Your final chip counts from day three at Sugar House. Unfortunately, Alec Torelli, 15,600 on the bad. But on the good side of things, it's been a pretty good trip to Philadelphia for Dan Shack. He is up $21,000. And Phil Helmuth will end his day three here at Sugar House with a $19,000 profit. For more from Poker Night, visit our new website at pokernight.com or find us on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube where you can see complete episodes and unedited live streams. Also, be sure to check out our online store for all of your Poker Night merchandise. For everyone here at Poker Night in America, I'm Chris Hansen. Poker Night is brought to you by 888-POKER, where the world plays online. Oh, well, yeah, you, you definitely trapped me. I fired under the river with four hooks. Yeah, you but definitely he had, he played it perfectly. Come on, let me finish my caught? speech. No, I mean, no, I mean. Come on, you guys, let me finish my speech here. I'm having a speech. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me finish my Excuse speech. Excuse us. <laughs> From Sugar House in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, this is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm your host, Chris Hansen. As we close in on the final hours of a mad cap cash game, our players start to do the math. How much you got there? And realize 500. that their chances of winning another big pot are slipping by with every hand. There it is. Hot one of the rush. Now, predictably, I had the nuts. their play gets a lot more aggressive as the time winds down. And whether they scoop the pot or not, it is we, the viewers, that will always win with that kind of action. So let's return one final time to our table of intrepid players here at Sugar House in Philadelphia and see who comes out with sugar on top. Just so you don't think I hit and ran, they making me leave. Day three continues and the good news is for the players at the table, Dan Shack has walked away. He had a $21,000 profit and I guess that was good enough for him. But three new players now joining us at our table here at Sugar House. Blinds are 25 and 50. And there is a optional $100 straddle if you're under the gun. King Jack for Esther Taylor Brady. Alec Trelli is on the button and he calls with kings. And Kyle Bowker will call with his sixes from the straddle. And a great call it was. Set of sixes for Bowker. Taylor Brady with your standard continuation bet. 550 is the amount. It's a raise from Torelli to 1800. Bowker calls. Taylor Brady gets out of the way. Bowker is first to act. What are you doing? And he bets 2,200. Gambling. Why are your chips in a rack? I'm taking them out. Don't worry, I'm not leaving, Phil. Relax. <laughs> I know you're getting a little bit scared. <laughs> no, I just, I just think it's fair. It's just fair. I just, I just want like a set of sixes when you have pocket queens, and I'll really fire big. You'll get it all. 
I hope we do play a big pot, Phil. I hope we do. Me too, under my, my conditions this time. My terms. Torelli calls as our first pot of the night is climbing up towards $10,000. Six thousand, the bet. Over to Torelli. A call and a big win for Kyle Bowker on his first hand on poker night in America. Welcome to the table. Turns a $100 straddle into that massive pot. Not bad. Wow. That seat's been so hot. Did Dan Shack lose a pot in two days in that seat? <laughs> when he threw the 6,000, I was really opening his bluff. And... Sean, how dumb do you think I am to sit down and bluff it all off? You could have bluffed, right. half, bluffed half it off. No bank of deep is always open. Taylor Brady brings it up to 350. And now back to Farah. He will call. Farah hits his ace. Taylor Brady with just the gut shot straight draw. A bet and a call as we head to the turn. We get one check. And a check behind from Taylor Brady. Here comes the river. Farah's ace king is ahead. He's been playing the sand very cautiously. from Taylor Brady to just over 2,000. Yeah, I know it's top pair, top kicker, but against a great player, you have to lay it down. And wow, what a play from Esther Taylor Brady. Coming up, more of our invite only from Sugar House on Poker Night in America. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online.